Hey everyone, welcome to another session on Big Data Technologies. Today let's learn about talent send mail component. We will also learn about constructing HTML body using tjava row component. Let's get started. Open my previous job and expand the coding. And in the very first rating assignment, if condition, I add one more. So I first check if each row rating at char zero, that is the rating that we just read from Zach's rating, if that is greater than the previous rating that we fetched from Cassandra. Let's say the previous rating was A and current rating that we just received from Zach's website is B. That means uh, it changed from A to B, which is a bad rating, in which case we would like to show it in red color with this font color equal to red. This is just normal HTML tag. And then it ends, it says growth rating reduced from the previous rating is shown here to and then the rating comes and the font tag closes and BR is for next line. And the same we have to do uh, when it is the opposite case. That is, instead of raking, uh, rating reducing, it, it might have improved also. So in which case, we would like to show the same thing with the green color and say growth rating improved from the previous rating to the new rating. Okay, so that was for one of the rating, right? One of the rating change, that is growth rating. Let's do the same thing for other three ratings. Text for momentum rating, scroll down and for value rating, and finally for VGM rating. So we should have constructed email text ID. Declare this variable plus. So let me do that. I will declare it. I also need to mention for which stock is this. So I would say ratings for um, plus context dot semicolon so we have uh, email text ready which we can utilize in our uh, send email before that let's verify if email text which is going to go into the body part of send mail is coming out as expected for that we will add oh before that we need to add this email text as one of the output columns otherwise it will not be sent out text uh, string that should be it should be fine here and also we can remove the document which we no longer need because it was just being utilized inside this t java row component we don't need it any further so that we just have clean contents going further let's run this okay email text cannot be resolved in 1809 we declared the variable we set the output parameter but we did not make sure that data is sent out into output parameter so let's do that now we go to component maximize so here is our parameter at the end of all these things we have to send out the contents so just like how we have output row or document to say oh we anyway removed output document i will just replace it with this yeah it's the same name so i'll just replace it that should fix it growth rating cannot be resolved or is not a field so it is not finding growth rating let's verify if the data is coming to it okay where is the component oh we have z growth rating okay so it is coming in z let's check here oh look they are not at all mapped Let's map this. Okay, so they're they're going to come into these columns as expected. Now we don't need these. Remove Z. Save. Okay. Again, an error. Error. Email text cannot be resolved to a variable. Okay. Oh, here we forgot string. It's data type. All right, that should fix it. Let's run again. Okay, looks like it is going well this time. Maximize. Yes, all these are fine. Email text, ratings for Tesla. Now, I don't see any further details of whether any of the stocks were reduced or not reduced. Why is that so? The reason is 
it has been fetching the current ratings and between now I'm recording this at 10.40 p.m. So stock market is closed and maybe uh, weeks and months later they change. So we are going to consistently keep getting the same kind of ratings. So how do we how do we get an email alert by simulating a change? We can do that by changing the previous rating in the Cassandra database. Instead of updating, I could also in just insert new record and that will be considered as the latest rating. So I'll just go back and change one of the ratings that I've given. I'll make it A and this one I'll say F. So that should change. All right, so let's go back and run the same job again and see if we see any difference here in this email text. Clear, run. There we have it. So Tesla has um, growth rating reduced and also VGM rating has changed. Value rating has also changed. So if I run the same thing again, it should not be showing any changes because there was no change between this new record and fetch again. Yep, it's behaving as expected. Okay, so let's send an email with this email text content resize and I will drag an email component send email I'll connect this when tjava row component is okay that is I'll just draw a parallel one as soon as it tries to log uh, it can start sending because it has already made all the email text we have a couple of things that we need to set for send mail first of all to address i would like to send it at gmail.com rating changes at talent.com cc i do not want anybody cc i do not want anybody subject rating changes for my stocks okay. and message instead of hello I would like to have text which is a variable and then I have a couple of settings I have to do here okay so I'll replace this SMTP host to my Gmail SMTP provider you can pro uh, you can get all these details online about the SMTP details if you want to use here and my ID is Sanjay Patiman and I change my password with this. Close your eyes. Okay, so that is set and I also need to check this start TLS support and I want it to be normal priority. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. Save it and run it. String literal is not properly closed by double quote. Okay, one of them, which one is it? 2330. Need to figure out the actual error. It is Java. Oh, Sanjay Katimani. My user ID is not closed. Go back to the designer component. It should be over here. See, I missed a double quote here. Close it and run it. Email text cannot be resolved to a very Okay, so our data is not flowing into send email. So what I can do is I'll disconnect T log row and let the main data flow through send mail and then reach out to T Cassandra row. But I also have to make sure the row two and row three are not changing. Otherwise, uh, T Cassandra row will not be able to update the data as expected. Anyway, I'm not interested in log anymore. I'll just delete, I'll delete. I connect this to this and this, oh, 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 stay back, stay back. And the output of this one goes to this. It has row three as expected, so excellent. I'll not have any changes to do. And now it should be able to get the email text as well as other details. All right, let's save it and run it, okay looks like it the data went through let's see yep now let me check my email there i have it 
so just tesla i need some details let's do that let's get some details to get some details of rating changes i need to run this again so that it inserts a record with the different rating I run this again i want to get a detailed change of rating email for tesla i have a new email how does it look it's all text jumbled up that's because i sent the email as text format and not as html let's get back and change that html command it should be in advance here i have it in it html run it before running i again have to insert the record so that i change the ratings run it again once the data flows through it should send the email there it is okay as you can see growth rating is reduced from this to this momentum okay we just need after tesla we just need a new line character apart from that everything else looks good so let's just add one new line character in t java row after the first statement that is right here right here let's yeah, let's quickly run everything again. So it record, come back, save it, run it. Okay. There we have it. We have the ratings for Tesla which have changed. This is the way we do it. The project should exactly do what we want it to do. Okay, excellent. We have achieved the objective of this project. It is sending us colorful HTML formatted details of what ra ratings have changed. So to sum it up, we created the HTML body part in T Java row component and we sent the data to send mail component that is going that sent us email to our Gmail account and we passed on the data to Cassandra. Hope these, this project was helpful to you. We will continue to extend this project to add further components and learn other parts of talent as well as other technologies related to big data. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel to get updates on new videos that are added to this channel. Thank you.